Hello everyone! Today I woke up with this intense urge and impulse to talk about my current favorite manhwa, The Pizza Delivery Man and the Gold Palace by Api. I just want to gush about it, and so this video was born. When I first came across this manhwa, I was simply charmed by the title. What does the pizza delivery man and the gold palace even mean? It sounded like an epic class battle. Little did I know then that this funny title would lead me to one of the most comforting stories ever. This is the story of two people who befriend each other and through their bond, slowly start to heal, let go of the weight they're carrying, and move forward. Uan, the pizza delivery man, and Soan, a resident of the Gold Palace, meet by chance one day. Uan is juggling several jobs to pay off his family's debt, and his life feels a bit unbearable because it's never been what he wants it to be. On the flip side, Soan is currently trying to overcome his anxiety, social phobia, and panic attacks with a very unsupportive family on his tail. In short, life is not easy for either of them. For some reason though, interacting with Uan calms Soan down and does not overwhelm him. This feeling, or reaction so to speak, motivates the two of them to become unlikely friends. Both of our main characters have far too much on their plates, and I love all of the soft ways they interact with each other, like the favors they've done for one another. I also love all of their quiet heart-to-hearts. Those moments are all so gentle and almost healing for me too. It's not easy to bear even a part of your heart to someone else, so I can't help but root for them. The characters really make this story extra special. Like, instead of red flags, there are so many green flags. Enough green flags to make a meadow or something. Their relationship is such a breath of fresh air. It's toxic-free. They both respect each other immensely. They genuinely want the best for one another. And they've also set healthy boundaries for themselves. They are so sweet. As a BL, this will likely eventually lead to some kind of romance. But first and foremost, they are each other's confidants and friends. I think building up that kind of relationship first is so crucial. They're just two men who want to help each other out and support one another. How precious is that? They are great together, but they're also great individually. They both have so much depth to them, and the character backgrounds in this manhwa are so compelling. There is this one scene where they're at a university together, and both of them, despite their completely different lived experiences, looked at this place with so much sadness and longing. It was so cool how in one scene, Uppi managed to show how these two are very different from one another, but also in some ways one and the same. That's another thing. There are only about 30 chapters out in English right now, and Uppi has already fleshed these characters out beautifully. I love learning about them, unpacking the layers to their trauma if you will, and I can't wait to learn more. I also think this manhwa is well balanced. Even though our characters are feeling all the feels, emotions such as self-loathing, guilt, anxiety, insignificance, envy, and so on, this story never feels that heavy. And I think that's because a lot of the focus is on the healing and the growth. This story manages to be so funny and sweet despite it all. And again, that gentleness is so important. I think the author is also handling the topic of mental illness with a lot of care. And that makes the story all the more enjoyable. I just love this manhwa so much. The weekly updates are the highlight of my Friday mornings. Another thing that I love that would be remiss of me not to mention is the art. It is so pretty and eye-catching. Every single character is gorgeous. I think Api is incapable of drawing ugly characters, just in general. Every character also has the prettiest eyes I have ever seen. I could get lost in them. I've rambled a lot about all of the good things in this manhwa, but why do I like it so much? What does it mean to me? Well, it means so much to me. I love the care that's gone into weaving the story. 
I love how relatable a lot of these feelings are. Maybe because I felt similar things in the past, but there were a lot of moments in the story that resonated with me. Not wanting to worry my loved ones, not wanting people to see my ugly sides, fretting over money, family pressure, feeling inadequate or useless. I think the manhwa depicted these feelings perfectly. But it's not just the heavy feelings that I find relatable. There are also a lot of positive relatable feelings too, like genuinely wanting the best for someone else, and the relief that comes from being understood. And so when I saw these characters start to move forward, I felt soothed too. In other words, I think Uppi is just great at conveying meaningful emotions and building strong relationships between their characters. I also love that this manhua is not saying that just meeting a new person will solve all of your problems, because that is unlikely. It is saying that by being with someone who understands you a little, who can empathize with you, together you can endure the tedium of life. Rather than saying it's possible for one's trauma and stress to disappear, this manhua is saying that it's possible to make them more bearable. And I think that's much more reasonable and just kind. It's that kindness that makes me appreciate the story even more. Sentences like it's okay or there's nothing to be sorry about sound so simple, but when spoken genuinely, it's these words that can help someone carry on. And with that, we are at the end of this video. Honestly, I could probably continue to ramble on and on. At the end of the day, I just absolutely love the pizza delivery man and the gold palace, and I feel so lucky to have found it. I completely forgot to mention this earlier, but you can read this manhwa on Legend. If you also love a slow burn, sweet, hurt comfort kind of manhwa, then maybe you'll like it too and we can gush about it together next time. I hope you had fun listening to me ramble. Do you also have a book or story you just feel like screaming to the world about? Let me know! I'd love to check it out! As always, I hope you're safe, happy, and healthy! Bye!